would like to share to you the, top, the title about Level Up Your Next Day. How many of you tonight who really wants to level up your life tomorrow? If, if we think every day that we need to level up our day, if we're experiencing leveling up today, then ask for more for tomorrow. Amen? Our experience today is not depend on our experience yesterday. Are you with me? It is more important to seek the presence of the Lord today than your experience yesterday. Today is more better than yesterday. Amen? Yes, it is. From the book of John, chapter 11, you can see the story about the disciples and Jesus and Lazarus. So starting from verse 14, the story goes like this. Starting from verse 14 of John 11, so he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. From the previous verse, Jesus said to his disciples, Lazarus is asleep, is sleep, is sleeping. And what the disciples answered him, oh, he will wake up. Wake, he, he will wake up and that's good for him and you know I, I love when I read that and the following verse Jesus told them plainly verse 14 Lazarus is dead so you know many times Jesus speak to his disciples with that you know mga, mga malalalim na salita and sometimes hindi nila to naiintindihan and I would like you tonight na maintindihan to by the power of the Holy Spirit. I want you to know without the Holy Spirit, we cannot understand the hidden things comes from the Holy Spirit. Okay? All things are hidden if the Holy Spirit is absent. That's why we need the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why today, may I ask a request tonight? You need, we need to, to ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, help me to understand your word. Is it okay? While I am teaching, while I am speaking today, just ask the Holy Spirit to come to your heart, to your life, and ask Him to explain His words in our inner being, in our hearts. Verse 15 said, And for your sakes, I am glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go to see Him. Verse 16, Thomas nicknamed the twin, said to his fellow, disciples let go to let's go to and die with jesus 17 when jesus arrived at the barony he was told that lazarus had already been in his grave for four days barony was only a few miles down the road from jerusalem and many of the people had come to console martha and mary in their loss verse 20 when Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Just think for a moment. Martha met Jesus and what he said, his, her uh, word is like this. Her statement is like this. Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. And verse 22, but even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Yun ang sinabi niya. Pero alam niya na kahit anong hingin sa Panginoon, ibibigay. But listen, listen ah. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Then may pagsubok ka agad. May sinabi si Martha na, na pananampalataya. Pero tingnan mo mabuti dito sa verse 23. Sinubok agad siya. Paano? Sinabi sa kanya ni Jesus, your brother will rise again. And Martha answered again from verse 24. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? 
<laughs> Verse 27, Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you. You are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who has come into the world from God. Verse 28, Then Jesus returned to Mary. Th then she returned, rather. Then she returned to Mary. Martha returned to Mary. You know, here, obviously, hindi masyadong naniniwala si Martha na mabubuhay ng araw na yon, literally, si Lazarus. Okay? That's why she answered Jesus na alam ko na mabubuhay lahat, pero iyon ay sa pangalawang buhay na. Yun yung second coming mo, mabubuhay lahat. At naniniwala ako doon. Yun ang sinabi ni Martha. But you know what? Jesus... Jesus in her in, in his heart sobra yung yung kanyang yung kanyang cry ng kanyang puso. Remember, sinabi niya sa kanyang disciples, let's go and and see him. Let's go and see him. And before na namit niya si Martha ni Jesus, yung yung nais ni Jesus ay si Lazarus ay mabuhay uli. Are you with me? Literally, yun ang kalooban ng Lord para kay Lazarus. Kaya inaya niya yung kanyang mga disciples, halika puntahan natin siya at mabuti na wala ako doon nang siya na, na lagutan ng hininga at upang ang kaluwalhatian ng Diyos ay ma-display. And here, pansinin nating mabuti ano ang nangyari nung si Mary na yung namit ni Jesus. Verse 28. Tinawag ni Mary, ni, ni Martha si Mary, And then what happened? Verse 29, So Mary immediately went to him, went to Jesus. Jesus had stayed outside the village at the place where Martha met him. Verse 31, When the people who were at the house consoling Mary so her, lived so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus' grave to weep. So they followed her there. 32, when Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you only, you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, the deep anger welled up within him and she was deeply, he was deeply troubled. Where have you put him? He said. He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. When they reached the tomb, Jesus wept. There are two characters that you can see here. First is the character of Martha that represent the believers. The believers who always believed God, who always um, talk about their faith. They, they always say something. This is called faith without action. And what the Bible tells us, that faith without action is dead. That's James told us. Faith without action is dead. But here, Mary represent Christians also. That who is always believe Jesus who has also faith faith that including the action that's why that's why Mary asked Jesus to go to the tomb to see Lazarus to see his her brother and you can see here that it is really uh, a kind of 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 Christians na kung saan nagsasabi na ito yung, ito, ito yung dapat mangyari. Many Christians in our time, even in the old time, like in the time of Martha and Mary, na kung saan sinasabi na nila, Yes, Lord, naniniwala ako sa iyo. Naniniwala ako na, na ikaw ay magpo-provide. Pero, kasasabi lang niya pagkatapos merong doubt. Kababanggit lang na, Yes, naniniwala ako. Pero at the back of her mind, merong doubt. Kaya hindi niya agad inaya, hindi niya agad isinama si Jesus doon sa tomb. Okay? Alam niya mabubuhay ulit si Lazarus anyway sa pangalawang buhay, yun yung second coming. But here Martha is a, a woman, a kind of person, a kind of Christian, na kung saan sinasabi niya, Lord, your answer is now. Ngayon yung answer mo, Lord. 
Ngayon na. That's why Mary wept and the heart of Jesus was troubled. Why? Because of that kind of faith. Faith is now, not later. But Martha real, uh, realized that faith is for the future. <laughs> That's why what, what she mentioned a while ago, na sabi niya, Oo, alam ko mabubuhay uli ang brother ko, pero kasama ng iba rin. But you know, in order for us to experience level up, leveling up on the next day, we need to experience four things in our life. Four things that I would like to share to you. Number one, worship. Exodus 32 verse 14 said, For you shall worship no other God. For the Lord whose name is Jesus is a jealous God. The God whom we serve is a jealous God. Do you know what does that mean? When you think something else or people or, or things above him, nagsiselos ang Lord. Ayaw ng Lord yun. That's why he wanted us to seek Him first every day. That's why what He mentioned from His passage, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Let us seek God. Let us worship Him above all else, above all things. Let us seek the, the, the face of God every day. Let us, in, let us really uh, choose what is right every day. Worship is above all things. Worship is a lifestyle. Worship is, is just like what you are doing every day. When you are taking shower, when you, while you are taking care of yourself, that is part of worship. While you are taking care of your loved ones, that is part of worship. But worship is, is like a lifestyle that you are giving glory to God every day. That you are giving honor to God every day. That you are honoring Him in all your needs, in all your, your success. You are honoring Him. You are giving, giving back to Him all the glory, all the honor. You know, not to ourselves, not to anyone or something else, but to Him alone, to God. Why? Bakit para sa Kanya lang? Dahil Siya ay silosong Diyos. Are you listening? Ang Dios ay silosong Dios. We need to experience Him every day in worship. We must. That, uh, that's a must. In order for us to experience, yung tinatawag na level up your next day. If you are asking God for more, if you are asking God to bless you, then we need to learn how to worship. How to give back to Him all the glory and honor. Maaaring marami kang nararanasang pagsubok. But you know, sometimes, it's too heavy. The heart is so heavy. But, think for a moment. The more you are experiencing problems, the more you need Him. The more we need the presence of God. The more we need to worship Him. Because in worship, there is freedom. When you encounter the presence of the Lord, when you uh, experience Him, there is freedom, there is release. Amen? And secondly, intimacy. Intimacy is important. What Deuteronomy said also, 6 verse 5, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. All our inner being, all that we had, that is belong to Him. We need to love Him. We need to to, to seek intimacy every day. Like your relationship to your spouse. You know, it, I think relationship is boring when day after day, you never level up. Are you with me? Day after day, walang pagbabago, walang bago, walang exciting na nangyayari sa inyong relationship. I think that is boring. Hello? But I want you to know today, if you surrender it to Jesus, if you seek intimacy, then in the presence of God, in, in, in His presence, 
in the, mo in the presence of the Most High God, there is always excitement, full of excitement. And even your relationship to your spouse will become more excited, more excitement when you surrender it unto the feet of Jesus. Are you with me? Maraming tao ngayon nakasal sa kanilang spouse na parang pakiramdam nagsasawa. Pakiramdam nila parang, parang hindi, na, hindi na niya gusto na makisama sa kanyang spouse. Why? It is because walang pag-angat sa kanilang relasyon. There is no leveling up. Hindi nila nakikita na dapat to mag-level up. That's why level up in our relationship with the Lord is, 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 is important. And level up with your relationship to your spouse, to your children is so important. It is so important in order for you to be more excited, to be more, you know, I know love is not based on feelings, but many times people are depending on their feelings. But if you seek the Lord, if you seek intimacy in the presence of God, then there is always excitement, full of colors. Are you with me? You will fall in love again and again. If someone of you here are experiencing difficulties, with your marriage. This is the right timing for you to ask God for miracle. The Lord will do miracle over that relationship. The Lord is the one who made that relationship and He is the one who will make it colorful over and over again. Can I hear amen? Amen. The Lord Jesus who created the heaven and earth Intimacy always depends on His love, the love of Jesus, you know? When we think that you are not capable to come into this, the presence of the Lord, then think about His love. He died on the cross for you and for me. His love every day never ceases, never change. The love of the Lord always available, always colorful. The love of God always waiting for you and for me. Na sinasabi, come into my presence. That's why the Bible tells us, lumapit kayo sa akin, kayo napapagal at nabibigat ang lubha. At kayo aking pagpapahingahin. Because the presence of God is, is so always available at nagbibigay ng kapahingahan. When you come, when you love God, when you choose to love Him, you know, what the Bible tells us, Him first who loved us then the moment we learned how to love, then that's the reason why we are lovable today. We, we, we can express love to people. We can express love to our family. Are you with me? When we choose to, to come into the presence of the Lord every day, as a Sabinat and Lord, I would like to experience you today. I want, Lord, to experience that, that, that presence, Lord. You know, it always starts in repentance. You know, repentance means the, the change of mind. We need to change the way we think, change the way we live. Amen? That is called repentance. To be intimate in the presence of the Lord is a cycle of repentance. Every day is a cycle of repentance. Bakit po repentance? E mananampalataya na tayo. Bakit repentance pa din? It is because hindi natin alam sometimes na tayo po ay nakakasakit. That's why James mentioned that word na sabi niya, kung ang iyong tang, yung maliit na tang na yan, na kung hindi yan nakaka-offend, then you are perfect. Yeah? But what the passage tells us from the book of James, ang sabi niya, yung napakaliit na part ng body na yan, yung tang, ay nakaka-offend. At hindi mo alam kailan to nakaka-offend. Sometimes ang ganda-ganda naman ng pagkakasabi mo, but ang dating sa tao ay nakaka-offend. Maganda ang iyong motive, pero ang dating sa tao ay nakaka-offend. But the Word of God always na nagsasabi na what is right, what is good. And when we come into the knowledge of Jesus, into the presence of the Lord, into His love, 
You know, when lies and deception comes into our mind, that is the right timing for us to, to run to Jesus. Come back to your first love. At sabi mo, Lord, here's my heart again. Help me, Lord. I cannot change my, myself. I cannot change the situation. I cannot change others. You know, do you know that? I always rem reminded myself. I always uh, talk to myself. At lagi ko tong sinasabi na sa aking sarili na you cannot change people. You cannot. Dahil hindi mo nga kayang baguhin ang iyong sarili. That's why I need to come into the presence of God, into intimacy. In order for me to be changed, in order for me na mabago ang um, the way I lived, the way I, I think, the way I speak, in order for me to be changed, I need the presence of God. I need intimacy every day. I need to hear the voice of God. You know, many Christians are asking for more, crying out for more, and many of you here are asking for more of God. Amen? Sino ba namang kristyano ang magsasabi na siya ay magkaroon ng pangit na relasyon sa kanyang pamilya? Wala. Amen? Pero bakit nangyayari? Bakit maraming nangyayaring mga wasak na pamilya? Bakit? Because there is always attack of the enemy. And because of that attack, we need the presence of God. We need the presence of God in our hearts. At mangyayari lang po yun sa tinatawag na pag-ibig natin sa Diyos. Kailangan nating hanapin ang pag-ibig natin sa Diyos. Kailangan mong tanggapin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos at sabihin sa Kanya, Lord, hindi ko kayang mabuhay ng wala ka. Hindi ko kaya, Panginoon, na, na ang iyong presensya ay wala dito sa aking buhay. Nais kita ngayong araw na ito, Lord. Nais kong lumago sa iyong sa yung feeling at nais ko ang iyong pag-ibig. That's why intimacy is important. That is so important in order for us to grow into the presence of God, into our Christian walk. It is important for us to acknowledge that we need help. People na hindi po niya ina-acknowledge na kailangan niya ng tulong ay kailanman hindi makakreceive ng tulong. Hello? Why? Dahil kahit na ino-offer yung tulong, i-resist niya yung tulong. Dahil alam niya, hindi niya kailangan ng tulong. Are you with me? When, when we come to the realization na, yes, I need help, Lord. Yes, Lord, I need you. Then, saka pa lang po darat, mo matatanggap ng yung puso na, yes, you need help. Here's the help. And then your heart is open wide to receive help. Are you with me? That's why intimacy is so important. In our everyday lifestyle, in our life, there is trials, there is difficulties. You know, that's why we need the presence of God. We have a new nature in Christ Jesus. You know, meron akong narinig na kwento. Ang kwento ay ganito. Yung magkapatid na babae at lalaki ay nagtatalo. At ang sabi nitong lalaki, yung kuya yung lalaki, ang sabi niya, Masama ang ugali mo. Yan, nagtatalo sila. And then yung kapatid na babaeng nakakabata, ang sagot niya, Oo kuya, masama ang ugali ko. Pero masama din ang ugali mo dahil magkapatid tayo. Hello? <laughs> They ha Both of the, 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 the... Yung babae, sinasabi niya na yes, masama ang ugali ko, masama din ang ugali mo dahil magkapatid tayo. That is the... The flesh nature. But as Christians, sabihin mo nga sa yung katabi, Christian. Christian, ha? As Christian, as, as followers of Christ, bilang mananampalataya kay Kristo, tayo ay may bagong nature. Ano ang nature na yan? Ang kabaitan ng Diyos. Ang kahinahunan ni Kristo. Are you with me? Ang kanyang, ang kanyang pag-ibig, ang kanyang pagiging maunawain, ang kanyang long-suffering. Patient. You know? Yan siya. Yan yung kanyang character. And because we believe in Jesus, we receive Him as Lord and Savior. Do you know that? O nakalimutan na natin? <laughs> na si Jesus nandyan. What the Word of God tells us, Christ in you. The hope of glory. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, Christ in you. The hope of glory. Yan. Ibig sabihin sa Jesus na nasa iyo, na punong-puno ng pag-asa ng kalwalhatian. 
Siya yun, the hope of glory, ang pag-asa ng kaluwalhatian at ang kaluwalhatian ng Diyos ay nasa iyo. And what the Word of God tells us also that you are His righteousness through Christ Jesus. And then, we have a new nature. Yes. The moment na yung in-acknowledge na, yes, Lord, I have a new nature. Minsan, Lord, bumabagsak ako at ayoko yun. Ayokong nagkakasala ako, pero nagagawa ko. At ang sabi nga po, may isang awit na sabi, gusto kong bumait, pero di ko magawa. No, ang dami kanya, no? Ang dami na lang mga sinasabi. Meron pa nga bata sa abe, sorry, I am not perfect. You know? Sometimes, they are expressing themselves na kung saan na, hindi ko nga kayang gawin eh. Hindi ko kayang gawin. But you know what? We can do it through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Through our personal relationship with God. If we develop that personal relationship with Jesus, that love relationship with the Lord, all of us needs help. All of us needs that acceptance, needs that love. But first of all, we need to seek His love, the love of the Lord, in order for us to learn how to love. Amen? The love of God is always available today. He is just waiting for us. Na sinasabi niya, anak, I, I am just here. I am waiting for you. Just come. Entering in, into my peace, into my presence. The Lord is always uh, available and open with that, that open hand. Na sinasabi niya, come, my son, my daughter. We are His children. That is good news. You know what? Every time na ako po ay nagkakasala, sinasabi ko sa Lord, Daddy, you know me. You know me, Daddy. I call God as my Daddy. At lagi ko sinasabi sa Kanya, Lord, you know me more than, more than somebody else. Even more than myself. You know me. You know this heart. You know that I want to, to, to serve you more. You know that I want to walk in holiness and righteousness. You know me, Lord. But sometimes there are difficulties na, na hindi mo namamalaya na ikaw ay nagkakasala, ikaw ay nagkakaroon na, na, na i-entertain mo yung tinatawag na wrong thoughts. Things na hindi dapat isipin. But you know what? The love of God always reconciled us. That intimacy relationship always reconciled us to our love to Him. At sasabihin mo sa Kanya, Lord, I want to be more intimate with you. You know, if you seek His presence more, then we are not a problem focus anymore. If you choose to seek His love more, then you are not a spouse focus anymore. You know, sometimes, nang focus mo, nakatingin lang sa yung kasama sa bahay, nakikita mo lagi ang mali, nakikita mo yung yung dapat baguhin, you know? Many times, I don't know if if you are experiencing that way. May kausap po ba ako? Sometimes na ating na-experience na parang nakikita natin lagi yung mali, yung mali, at yung dapat baguhin. Lalo na kapag ikaw yung organized person. Hello? If you are organized person, and you know, nakikita mo yung mali at dapat baguhin. Stop thinking that way. Kung hindi ka lumalapit sa Lord at sinasabi sa Kanya, Lord, baguhin mo muna ako bago mabago ang outside. Are you with me? Kung, kung if you are thinking to yourself na sinasabi mo, Lord, baguhin mo siya. But you know what? Many times, ganito ang nangyayari, babaguhin muna tayo ni Lord bago baguhin niya ang outside. Hello? Intimacy is so important. Prayer is so important. Thirdly, prayer Romans 1.9, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of His Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Second Timothy 1 verse 3, Timothy's faith and heritage here. Verse 3, I thank God whom I serve with a pure conscience as my forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers night and day. What the word of God Ephesians said here from Ephesians 6.18 said, and 
and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Are you with me? If, if things go wrong and you do not know what to do, you do not know what to say, choose to pray. Stay in silence with the presence of the Lord and ask him, Lord, I choose to be in your presence. You know, every time, and this is my experience the last, the last, last two weeks. Hindi ko alam kung na-experience mo na to na sometimes ang ganda-ganda nang nangyayari sa paligid mo and then masaya ka. And all of the sudden, merong isip na darating na hindi mo gustong isip. Tapos yung isip na yon nagdadala sa'yo ng kalungkutan. Okay? I don't know kung nangyari yan sa'yo. But that last week, I experienced that. And sabi ko sa Lord, Lord, why this thought comes here? Hindi ko to iniisip at hindi ko to sinadyang isipin. And I come to the rea- realization na sabi ko, Lord, this is a talk. Merong uh, attack. You know, the battle comes here. Not in the mouth. Okay? Comes here first, sa mind muna. And then kapag hinayaan natin dito sa isip, napupunta yan sa puso. Minimeditate ng puso. Pag na-meditate ng puso, then sa kaya nasasabi. Okay? Nasasabi. So, <laughs> I don't know kung ilan dito ang 40 plus years old. Okay, 40 plus years old. When I reach 40, 40 years old, <laughs> maraming mga lies na pumapasok sa isip ko na nagdadala ng matinding kalungkutan. Akala natin yung teenager lang ang too emotional. You know, sometimes we, we think that way, na teenagers are too emotional. But you know, when we reach that age, Ang sabi nga nila, 40, uh, life starts at 40, but also at 40, 40, uh, 40s, also, nandun din kasi yung iniisip mo yung future. Iniisip mo na lahat ng kinabukasan. Paano to? Paano to? Maraming paano. You know, at nag, mas nagpaplano ka ng mas parang bago yung buhay mo. Ganyan. But you know, you can, you will experience things, difficulties also. There are good and bad things. na sometimes na-experience mo, but ang bad things is, yung papasok sa isip mo na parang hindi mo siya makontrol. Hindi mo siya kayang i-manage. Kaya kailangan mo na lang gawing busy ang sarili mo. Okay? Siyempre, yun ang solution. Para naman hindi ka naman maging malungkot masyado, you need to make, make yourself busy. And then, while you are praying, yes, I prayed. Nagpipray ako, nag-asa ko sa Lord, Lord, forgive me kung naiisip ko to. God, I renounce this wrong thought in Jesus' name. And then I make myself busy. And then hanggang 2 a.m. nagtatrabaho ako. Okay? In order for me na hindi ko maisip yun. Ayokong maisip yung mga pangit na yun. Ayokong maalala yun. And that's why I make myself busy. I work hard. I, you know, I prayed. I, I, I read the Bible. And then I pray to God. And then, you know, what the Lord uh, reminded me, sabi sa akin ng Lord, anak, Remember, this uh, trial is already, um, has been, exp- uh, you ex- experienced this already. Sabi ko, ano po yun, Lord? Bakit na-experience ko na to dati? I remember when I was teenager, may ganun din akong experience na you, there is a, a thought na sobrang isip na, you know, na sobrang parang hindi mo kaya i-control yung isip mo na kailangan mo siyang gumawa ka ng paraan para maalis yung, yung isip na yun. And what happened, sabi na ganun ng Lord sa akin, you need to pray hard. Kahit nasan ka, you need to pray. That is the weapon. And what I did, a response, this is sinabi ng Lord, I, I prayed hard and I start praying for other people. I start praying. You know, the reason why na yung mga lies pumapasok sa isip mo, it is because, kaya may attack dyan, it is because na is ng enemy, na is ni Satan, na tayo ay ma-paralyze. Yung hindi ka na maka, makapag-isip ng maayos, at hindi ka makapag ng maayos. Are you with me? If you are experiencing that kind of experience, you need to pray hard. You need to pray loudly with an audible voice. Okay? With that, with that, loud voice at sabi mo, Lord, I thank you for you are good, for you are God who hear and answers prayer. I thank you, God, that you have created me as as holy 
you have called me as, as a priest. We are the holy people, okay, that you have called, Lord. You know, you need to speak to your future. You need to speak to your life. Are you with me in prayer? You must use the word of God in prayer. That is so important. That is so important. In order for you to experience the, the next level of your experience in life, of your uh, growth in your Christian life, you need to pray hard. You must learn that every day. You know, many people are experiencing, uh, what do you call that? Uh, they, are, they are defeated because they don't know the weapon every day. One weapon is prayer. Sabihin nga natin, prayer. In order for us to experience that kind of intimacy with the Lord, you need to pray hard. You know, first worship. Nakikita natin yung presence ni Lord and then tinatawag na intimacy. Nakikita natin na sobrang tayo ay napapalapit sa Panginoon. The more we got intimate with God, the more attack na pwede pong gawin ang enemy. Are you with me? Napapansin nyo ba yan? The more na gusto mong lumapit sa Lord, the more na merong attack ang enemy. Okay? But I want you to see yourself na sabi mo sa Panginoon, Lord, I need you. Just say that. Sabi mo sa kanya, Lord, I need you. I need your, and thank you for your blood. Thank you, God, for your protection. Just pray. Pray. Prayer is a communication with God. And uh, thirdly is encounter. A uh, fourth, the last point is encounter. We need to experience the Lord every day. Okay? Worship. That, that worship na, na, na kailangan nating ma-experience the Lord. Worship, intimacy, prayer, and encounter is so important every day. In order for us to wipe away every tears. To wipe away every pain. Are you with me? To wipe away every discouragement. Are you getting something here? We need Him alone. We need the presence of the Lord alone. Him is the answer. Students, teenagers, I would like you to know that Jesus, Jesus is just waiting for you. If you are looking for, for rest, new experience, new things, then I want you to know that in the presence of the Lord, there is many challenges. In the presence of the Lord, there is peace. And you need to respond well. Are you with me, teenagers, students, parents today? I want you to know that God is really care for your marriage, for your family, for your kids. He knows what is the best. But in order for us to continually walk and to reach the next level of life, the next growth in our life, the success in life. We need to learn how to worship, how to get intimate with the Lord, how to continually ask the Lord for His, for His a presence every day, to pray and to continually experience and encounter the Lord, the, His presence. He is so faithful to you, faithful in every little things. Hello? What the Word of God tells us here in conclusion, kung wala kang natandaan sa daan po ng sinabi ko, gusto kong iwanan ito. The Lord really care for you. He is willing to wipe away every tears, to wipe away every pain, to continually remove any kinds of discouragement in your hearts. And He is expecting you, expecting me, na someday, we will enter in into his rest and we will be more obedient than ever before. Let's all stand up. Thank you, Father, for you are good God.